This disproves Christianity. In order to gain eternal life, one must believe Jesus died for the sins of humankind. This is the most fundamental doctrine of Christianity. We hear this not only from overzealous Christian friends, but also in the Bible, in verses like, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. Or believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. As if belief is completely in our control, we are given this ultimatum, believe or die. But are we really in control of what we believe? Let's test this out. So with these questions, I want you to be 100% genuine and honest. Be really truthful with yourself and really think about it and answer these following questions. Can you genuinely believe you are not watching a YouTube video right now? Can you truly believe that Zeus exists and is the God of all other existing gods? Can you genuinely and authentically believe deep down in your heart that the sun will not rise tomorrow? No, you can't believe any of those things because we're not in control of what we believe. Our convictions, the things that we believe, are almost completely a result of innate neural processes influenced by environmental factors that we did not choose. To give an example of this, it's estimated that the majority of people, 67% of all human beings that ever lived from the time of 30 CE, the year 30, until 2001, never even heard about Jesus. Also, in our current world, two out of 10 people haven't heard of Jesus. So is belief in Jesus really in our control? Obviously not. And this is where it gets interesting. The Christian God is said to be perfectly just, but how is it just to require people to believe a specific idea when they are not in control of what they believe? How is it just that a God require people to believe in him for salvation and then intentionally create people who are incapable of believing in him, who will never even hear his name. So at the very least, the Christian God is not just, which by definition makes him unjust. Once we understand that if the Christian God exists, he must be unjust, we disprove the New Testament and gospel. An entirely new God forms, one which is unjust and cruel. And we understand that the God of Christianity never existed.